Hi, which is Mr. B. This is Way Raven over here. And just because I love to read your emails and one of the purpose of my channels is to answer your request. I have an email from James and it reads something like this. Goody me, White Raven. I wanted to request, if possible, if you can provide some sort of ritual for aloe vera and snake plants. I've heard of their protective and also their prosperity nature, but I've only purchased them and have them in the home. Do we bless, charge, or do any rituals? Thanks so much. Of course I'm going to answer that request. It is one of my favorite plants. I grew up with the plant literally in my hair. So let me share some really awesome stuff that you can use with the aloe vera plant. Let's go. Hi, my beautiful witches. Busby. This is Way Raven over here. And today's Monday. So happy Magic Monday to all of you guys. How are you pretties? How was your Mother's Day weekend? All my witchy mamas out there. I had a great time. Thank you so much for all the love and all the beautiful message that you sent me. I received that in my heart, a lot of warmth and a lot of happiness. If you are new to this channel, please make sure that before you leave, you subscribe and you hit that bell so you can get all the notifications every time I post my videos. I also want to share with you guys that my website it is up and running so after this video you're more than welcome to check my website white raven and witches layer.com white raven and witches layer.com i'm gonna be adding some stuff from uh everything we talk in here today so you don't only have the video but you also have like a little article on it that you can go and study and double check every time you need some information so we're going to be talking about the one and only aloe vera plant listen if you grew up spanish or in the caribbean you know that grandma had this plant in her garden this plant is all over the place all over the place <laughs> when i was little my grandma used to open the aloe vera i have curly hair a lot of you guys think i perm my hair no this is my hair this i have curly hair and i remember my grandma putting a lot of aloe vera in my hair oh my god i always hated the way it smelled but it's a plant that is really close and really dear to my heart and it actually has a lot of magical properties. It's a plant that's been in this beautiful planet since the beginning. It's a very old ancient plant. The Greeks used to use the plant, but this plant originally comes from Africa. So it has a lot of uses when it comes to health. But the uses that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, just because this is a magical channel, is going to be on the magical properties of aloe vera. Aloe vera magical properties are number one, and I think the most important one is going to be for protection. The second property that aloe vera has is a link to beauty. Beauty and protection. Some traditions consider aloe vera an extremely lucky plant and some Spanish trabajos de brujería. We use it to better relationships, to better people, to better activities, to better when you want to bitter something. I'm going to give you some examples of what we're going to do. Let me tell you some of the uses that this plant has. It is very important that you keep aloe vera in the burial place of somebody that you think is restless. You can use aloe vera to appease the dead. It is advised for you to plant aloe vera in the burial site since aloe vera is going to provide some kind of uh, help in the transition of dying and is going to appease this restless spirit. You want to have some aloe vera. This is my beautiful aloe vera plant with my beautiful uh, pot that Charlie gave me. You want to adopt an aloe vera and you're gonna treat it like your pet. Pretty much you're gonna talk to it every day and you're gonna take care of it. And you're going to put that aloe vera in our altar. Aloe vera leaves, as you can tell, are shaped almost like an arrow, right? And they have this pointy, really pointy, like thorns. 
So she's a very protective of dark energy. She will annihilate dark energy. She will also absorb dark energy. Now you have to pay attention to your plan because when she starts withering, uh, chances are she have absorbed really dark energy and it's time for her to be released and get a new one. If you do card readings, if you do any kind of uh, divination for people, if you get people in your house, uh, this is a great plan for you to have not only outside your house, but also inside the place where you are conducting any kind of divination activity. What else we can do with the aloe vera? We can use the gel of the aloe vera and we can anoint little puppets if we're doing puppet magic we can actually use the juice of the aloe vera to anoint our puppets our voodoo dolls our dollies uh, with either protection just like this guys or for beauty he's going to be very slimy and he's gonna not gonna smell very well but that is something that you can do with your aloe vera okay what else can we do with the aloe vera bath you can use it for a mask you can rub it in your body if you need some kind of luck or if you need some kind of protection take aloe vera has a very pungent smell so you can add to this mix any oil that is not irritant to your skin and it can cover a little bit of the smell and the scent of aloe vera you can also make bath with this you can add witch hazel to it and you can make a bath with it if you want the bath for beauty then we're going to do a ritual that pertains to beauty in that case we're gonna use if you decide some color correspondences some uh, deities correspondences maybe some earth correspondences we add all that we empower this aloe vera mix it with witch hazel and we can do a bath with it you can do a face mask with it you can do a hair mask with it but just make sure that prior to doing the mask or the hair mask you empower this if you want this for protection then you are going to add to this gel any plants that have protection properties any oils that have protection properties you can light some candles and do some chants and charges with protective intentions you, you can also use the days of the week you can also use hours of the planets you can also use the moon faces or simply nothing at all other than your aloe vera and your intentions another thing that you can do with the jelly of the aloe vera in this juice in this gel a lot of people dip amulets protective amulets a lot of people put the horseshoes as very popular to put a horseshoe in the aloe vera and then let it dry and then use it or if you have any amulets that you wear you can or you display around your home or around your magical places you want to dip them in the jelly and then let them dry and hang them that's another great way for for you to use this jelly okay so what else can we do what else can we do with this well let's put up this over here I have over here a brown bag and uh, I have some pieces over here of my jelly I have some pieces over here of my aloes I have three pieces so let's cut let's cut over here Let's cut over here, brown paper. Now, I told you that in Spanish, uh, santeria, espiritismo, witchcraft, brujería, they use the aloe to bitter stuff. So if you have somebody talking about you, this is what you're going to do. I'm gonna show you right now what you're going to do with this. You can do a few things. You can still use your jelly here, or we are going to write down in a brown paper the name of the person that is annoying you and what is it that you want that person to stop doing. So let's say the person is talking about you. So you want that person to stop talking about you, right? So you write the name, let's put that here. Let's grab one of our aloes, grab a knife, 
and we're going to cut the aloe. We're going to do a little pocket in the aloe. Something like this, you see? Something like that. Inside that pocket, you are going to put the paper with your petition. Just put it in there. You can add salt to this. You can also add alum to this. You can also add poppy seeds to these. You can also add black mustard seeds if you want the person to be confused. And then what we're going to do after, we're going to make a little packet. Just like so. And we are binding this person for talking you okay you bind this person whenever this person starts talking about you this person is going to feel bitter in her mouth completely bitter in her mouth once you have a little package like this you can put it in the freezer you can put it inside aluminum foil like just the same way i've taught you guys a few times in some of my videos put it in aluminum foil put it in the back of your freezer and forget about it Forget about it. Don't think about it ever again, okay? Uh, another thing that you can do, again, you let's say this is another person that is doing even worse. So you're going to write the name of the person. It is good for you to write the date of birth if you have it, the last name if you have it, as much information as you have. And that is in case you don't have a direct link to the person. If you have a direct link to the person, then you also put the link in there. That is a lock of hair, nail clippings, etc. But you put your petition in there you're going to grab your aloe vera now the point of this is for you just to make like a little pocket all right where you're going to put uh, that petition okay guys so you put the petition in here you can use color magic if you wish to listen we had an interview the other day with miranda and i'm so glad that you guys loved it uh in which Miranda's one of her ghosts one of her spirits that show up to her is a witch from Ireland and she also questioned why we put so much stuff in our spells because at the, the end of the day guys we already have the power of the aloe vera in here so you don't have to pretty much add anything else now you bind this in here and you can do one of two things you can let this dry under the sun until it's just completely consumed or you can bury this far away from you you can either freeze it or you can bury it or let it dry under the sun last but not least this is popular for some kind of like uh, love spells, all right? But this is what those type of love spells that you want somebody completely lured by you. You want this person completely, absolutely, hopelessly devoted to you. Well, you're gonna put the name of that person over here. This person is not going to be able to escape you, you know? There's just going to be at the mercy of your heart, in other words. So you're gonna put the name of the person, what you want that person to do, which is in this case, uh, be totally devoted to you. Nobody but you. So we're gonna use our third chunk of aloe vera that I have over here, make the little pocket. Now, do you see how aloe vera is extremely slimy? right it's so very slimy well the same way that that slime is going to slow down things it's going to uh, capture things imagine that person completely surrounded by this slime and this slime is going to represent what you want you're commanding right you put that person in there you can add some romantic herbs if you want all right in this case we're going to get some of our red yarn or red ribbon let's cut a piece leave it here 
let's bind this person in our intentions now you want to plant this aloe vera under a rose plant under a plant that is not going to be disturbed okay there's a few packages, a little, some packages, and they look actually cute, that you can do with your aloe vera, guys. So another thing that they do with the aloe vera, guys, uh, and it's one of the most popular things that you want to find out there, people hang over their doors the aloe vera plant. All right, so I'm going to put some pictures. A lot of people just buy the leaves, okay? In Spanish, they call this plant sabila. Um, so what we're going to do with red ribbon, you usually use red ribbon for this. You can anoint it if you want with some protective oil and uh, you bless it, you pray over it. You are going to tie a red ribbon. I'm using right here uh, yarn, but you can use, uh, it called for a red ribbon. And you tie it like this from the top of your door. Last but not least, one thing that they do with the aloe vera plant to keep prosperity in your house and good luck is tie red ribbons on her. You want to do little red ribbons on your plant that's going to assure prosperity and protection in your house. When you transplant the aloe, you can put a little ribbon close to the leaves rather than to the uh, roots. And you can plant it in the other container, but make sure you create some kind of like um, invisible, of course, triangle with three coins and you want to plant it inside the triangle and then cover it up. Oh my gosh last last one last thing in the encyclopedia of 5000 spells judica elis says that you can rub some of the aloe vera juice into your body before you go hunting or fishing for good luck there you go that's another folk tale in regards to the uses of aloe vera on and all when you finish this video, please go get yourself an aloe vera plant because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you, my beautiful little witch. Please email me layerofthewitch at yahoo.com. I do not work for people. Please visit my website, whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com whiteravenandwitcheslayer.com. I am going to be adding all of the stuff that we talk about today in this video into an article so you can review it and you can print it in your one and put it in your book of shadows other than that it is always awesome talking to you witches my next interview is going to be with my friend Lilith and she is a Satanist and we're going to ask her some questions so you know and you get to know a Satanist because they're really cool people until next time witches stay wicked Bye.